What is happening, y'all? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you all with another uh, NASCAR Diecast review. But this is actually going to be on a truck, all right? And this was actually requested by, uh, you know, one of my good fans, uh, Justin. I uh, can't remember the last name, but I think you know who you are because you did request some truck reviews. And I said, hey, I got a little bit up my sleeve, so this one's for you, bud. But today's going to be on a Diecast. I actually got back all the way back in. All right, you guys ready for this shit? 2020. Holy sheep shit, that's like two years old already, so this uh, this review might not even be relevant, but it is going to be relevant, as I just literally constricted myself. Today, it's going to be on one of your guys who went into the championship for this year, Ty Majeski and his 2020 uh, Plan B sales, <laughs> Circle B Diecast, uh, Alzheimer's uh, Awareness Month. Chevrolet Silverado for Nice Motorsports. Um, yeah, this is a diecast I kind of forgot I actually had in my collection. And I'm like, you know what? I didn't even review this because I didn't think it was going to get that many views. But hey, people want a truck diecast review. Um, I know Justin definitely did. So, um, heck, we're going to give him a damn truck uh, diecast review. So why the hell not? Because, heck, you know, that is one good thing I got to say about Lionel. They did a good job on the truck molds. And, um, heck, you know, we haven't had uh, really had any recent ones that came out yet. So uh, this could definitely fill the void for now. But purple and white i uh, you can almost mistake this as a david land car guys but anyway let's go and kick up the diecast review and the official unboxing of ty majeski's 2020 plan b sales all timers car and alrighty, guys we got this diecast salvage box and um yeah i just did the thing again guys i called this diecast a car uh, but you guys know my terminology i meant truck so yeah we are already off to a wonderful start on this diecast review so let's go ahead and shut our trucks up and let's get this thing let's get this mother truck and rolling as already i'm already acting like uh you know a freaking bubbling idiot but uh yeah getting back to the diecast guys we do got ourselves a um is that a purple paint chip on the gander outdoor logo i can't tell because my camera doesn't want to focus on that it is look at that how about that we got ourselves a purple paint chip isn't that just uh isn't that just uh dandy but yeah of course the one thing i'm not really because uh, you guys know this is the uh the chevrolet silverado uh, i think before they updated it um later uh, later on in the uh various years because you know it's a two-year-old uh truck now so but one thing i definitely do not like whoa that uh, we got the two chevrolet logos right there which you know it, it, it just doesn't, I mean, I understand, and plus it's even not even center, right, too, and it's hugging that Circle B slash Plan B sales logo. Um, they're the same company, they just rebranded, because, um, you know, Circle B is actually where they sell the die cast, and Plan B, I think, is where they actually, uh, you know, do the warehousing and all that shit. But, um, yeah, guys, th this is such a unique color combination. The reason why I think I wanted to do this diecast uh, review right now is because November is All-Timer Awareness Month. And um, this was such a cool foundation that uh, this this is all for a good cause that, you know, Plan B Sales did. So I really got to give the uh, all the folks at Plan B Sales and Circle B Diecast, uh, Brent Powell, um, you know, he's done a wonderful job with uh, the company and seeing it grow and, more importantly, giving back to the community and helping out. That's really cool, man. And I know it's going to be a special time, especially with the Black Friday deals going on. So, uh, but yeah, this diecast, you're definitely just going to go out to, uh, you know, all the folks at Circle B Diecast. Uh, you guys are the real MVP. Um, I know some people give you guys some shit. I mean, I've been guilty of it sometimes as well. But at the end of the day, very proud to have you guys as, you know, a distributor for NASCAR Diecast and uh, various other uh, stuff. But just, man, dude, this is such a cool looking diecast, guys. This is a one-off paint scheme that, <coughs> excuse me, as I already go ahead and you know, uh, I think I think my, my my mouth didn't like the purple. I was trying to hack it all up. <laughs> oh lordy, um, I need a nice drink after this diecast review. Holy Christ Almighty! Um, and look at this. I'm not like already two or three minutes in. I'm already dying. <laughs> Uh, your boy ain't making it, y'all. But, um, yeah, getting back to this, guys, he ran this as a one-off paint scheme at Homestead, Miami uh, Speedway. Um, this was, I think, after uh, they, you know, put the Phoenix race as the finale. So, yeah, it, it really did kind of suck. I mean, I think, uh, what was it? I think Kyle Busch was like, I think he won this race, if I'm not mistaken. Kyle Busch won the race because, you know, he was mostly dominant. And they had Chase Elliott in that race, too. Um, but, yeah, Majeski, you know, uh, he mostly was like a top 15 or top 20 truck. Um, so, but the, the the 45 was like a, a, a let me just say nice motorsports kind of i don't know like this was technically you know his so-called rookie year because you see the rookie stripes because he was supposed to fill in for trevor bain um because i guess bain just uh i, I i'm not sure what happened but uh, they had like various drivers like trevor bain and time majeski and then uh what was that i think um brett moffin and ross chastain so they kind of like flip-flopped me i know they got carson hosevar now and um, I don't even know who even drives, uh, besides Carson Hosevar in the, uh, Nice Motorsports trucks. Um, 
my god, I remember Kyle Benjamin drove the 44 truck, I don't know what happened to that dude, but, um, it, it does look like a basic paint scheme, but do, but it's all for a good cause, I mean, this die cast review is also going on to anybody who, if any uh, of my fans or uh, loved ones know anyone with Alzheimer's, I mean, this one is for you, because, you know, um, I think it was one of my good buddies, uh, uh, Rob, Racy 21, I think one of his, uh, relatives actually had Alzheimer's, so, um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, uh, it's a very serious disease, guys, I mean, there's nothing more, you know, sad to see you know a loved one not even remember who you are i mean that's like i think that's even worse than dying dude i mean that that's just really sad so just god bless anybody out there who you know um i know this review is kind of getting a little serious but you know this this review is all for a good cause um so like you know if you guys ever want to donate you know donate to these guys i mean because november is all timer awareness month i know there's some other there's some other things you could do in the month of november but um th th this was so cool that they did that guys i really do appreciate plan b sales and circle b diecast doing that but back to the diecast guys i mean it is a purple car so if you truck truck it's a truck it's a truck good lord how many times i gotta say myself brian this is a truck in what point of my forehead did i said oh you know this is a car it's a truck <laughs> uh for anybody who's a long-time subscriber you guys probably might get that joke i always call these uh, die cast cars so uh yeah but it's a truck um i gotta keep trucking in my forehead on these damn reviews but um this is such a cool die cast guys i really like this it's basic but it works i mean when are you ever gonna get a purple and white die cast all right unless your name is david land <laughs> i mean my god this is just it's basic it's simple but it works i like it man white and purple just is a great color combination and look at the interior man this is one thing i like about the trucks man the interiors you can actually see all the fine details i mean that is just beautiful see the gauges and you know the gear shift and the steering wheel just beautiful beautiful job um and you see the bottom of the chassis if you guys want to see that the chevrolet silverado really really nice and the long fuel sale but um yeah i mean i don't really have a, a die cast to compare this to guys but all i can say is that this is probably one i think that uh we've had a lot of circle b and plan b sales uh die cast that came out in the trucks uh well like in 2020 in 2021 i think this is probably one of my favorites just because it's different i mean when you think of the Plan B cells and Circle B diecast logos, like, you wouldn't see purple, right? You would see, like, you know, white and black and that nice Plan B cells blue. I mean, it is missing. I do miss the blue on the Plan B cells. I mean, we got the blue for Nice Motorsports, but this works. This really works. I think if they added the blue right there, that would kind of get it distracted. So I'm kind of glad they toned that down because uh, they didn't want it to be too distracting. But feel free to comment below if you have anything else to share about this die cast. As that's pretty much all I got to say about this car, guys. Uh, truck, you know what I mean. But anyways, um, this is going to wrap up right here on the Ty Majeski uh, die cast. And um, yeah, his, on his 2020 Plan B sales, all timers awareness month. Chevrolet Silverado for Nice Motorsports. Come on, like, subscribe, and this is Mino BB. I'll see you guys next time on another diecast review. And oh yeah, I almost forgot. How about how about the year Ty Majeski had in 2022, guys? Um, getting into the championship four looks like he could be a good favorite for next year. But that's all I gotta say. This is Mino BB. See you guys next time on another diecast review. And yeah, see y'all next time.